Hello Tarot fans, welcome to another edition of Blue Six Tarot. I'm your fantastic host Blue Six, thank you very much for watching. Now we're basically on part three of a three part kind of series where I talk about spirit boards. <clears throat> now um, we did the Anne Stokes board previously and now we're going to take a look at one that I basically got from a key cutting shop. The sort of place you tend to get more of the high, what I like to call the high street tarot. But without further ado, let's roll on that intro. Okay, so today we will be looking at this one just called Spirit Board. Very uh, straight and to the point with a nice little caution saying, uh, use with caution. And underneath you see it says it's by Nemesis now. And uh, there are a lot of really cool stuff from that company. So this one I got from local key cutters that tend to do um, other figurines and statues and ta like basic tarot, stuff like that. What I like to call the high street tarot. So one thing it does strike with the box, in fact it's just a plain black and white and really nice font kind of really nice designs here. Makes me think of like tattoo artists, tattoo designers. I like the planchette in the top at the bottom here, the sun and the moon and a little kind of border here. I think that's quite nice. Now on the back of the box, we just have obviously the alphabet numbers and the goodbye. And last little description here, about what the board is and kind of how they are considered. And the best part is underneath it says, uh, do not use under the age of 18 or under the influence of alcohol. That I think is quite amusing. But, whip out the old tape measure and we are looking at 15 and a half cent uh, inches or 39 centimeters. And obviously this one is a square. Um, which isn't very common. I think I've only seen like one or two others. Now, I'm not a big collector. In fact, these are the three I own, not including the one I posted on about the, uh, or, um, about the Oracle card. But anyway, so, but board-wise, th these are the only three boards I currently own. <coughs> now, I'll take a look at the board itself. Please ignore the traffic in the background. I've still had to have all the windows closed. Right, so this is where it gets a bit interesting. So first of all, okay, so I'll check. So first of all, I guess one of the things that kind of bugs, well, a couple of things that bug me about this is the fact that you kind of have like the kind of copyright and the branding on the bottom, rather than it just being left on the box. You still have to use with caution. Now stuff like that is a kind of, does kind of bug me because now you're just, it's not necessarily the fact that the warning levels is there, it's just the idea that this now doesn't really feel as good as it could be because you've still got all the adverts on it and it's not just being a board. So personally, I'd probably have removed the remove of uh, I'd basically get rid of the um, use of the caution and all of this bit bottom here because it doesn't really need to be there. Personally, I feel like it distracts. Though I may have ADHD, personally, I don't know if I do, but uh, I do get very easily distracted. And so, stuff like that would just really bug me. So, once again, it is a square. So the board itself is not that much um, smaller than the box. We're talking by about two millimeters smaller. So, barely a hair. But another thing that I'm not as big a fan of is you can probably see it in this corner here where it's more like it's just placed on a board rather than being part of it so it's just they've just got a piece of fabric with a print on it and then just like hot glued glued it to a board because there's nothing underneath the board except like the uh, nemesis now uh, sticker logo but this board basically just has a piece of like printed material and I've just kind of pasted it on um, a piece of what feels like thick plastic, which is fine, the fact it's plastic, but I don't know, the fact that it's just like material, see, you can kind of see it coming off. So that I find quite disappointing. But at the same time, the board itself does look quite nice. 
Um, they do have another they do have, in the shop. They do have another one of these in different color. So I might get that um, maybe next time I'm paid. But yeah, so the thing I've noticed is that the placement compared to the other two, the placement of the letters and the numbers are basically the same. So I I will probably have to look into this a bit more. Um, about what qualifies a board to be a Ouija board rather than just a standard spirit board because Ouija boards are a copyrighted name and so it has to fall under a certain re it has to fall under certain things to be qualified as a Ouija board as opposed to a spirit board so I'm quite curious to see what those things are but anyway you've pretty much got what you have on the box including the warnings uh, so sun, moon nice little borders there so I'm going to look at the planchette now first thing I've noticed is that the, plant, the hole for the planchette is a little smaller so it may have the same problem with one of the others where the hole probably is a little too small for the letters and numbers once again that's more my personal taste uh, some people might prefer that now another thing is the planchette itself looks really cool really smooth um, it has no uh, bumps underneath as the previous did um, so I don't know if it's going to feel smoother or not but once again like with the board it has a print the this is this this print is this stuck on and it has a level of it just feels a bit cheap compared to the other two boards so maybe this this might just been a dud um, but I don't know if uh, if this if all of Nems Nemesis Nails products are like this with their uh, spirit boards. Uh, well, I guess we'll probably find out in the future. Yeah, so and this stuff that does look quite cool. This would be more for like, I'd probably use this more for a party. That would be quite fun. But now for the movement. So it kind of feels weird. So I think it's because as it's completely smooth, it kind of has the as you're moving it around, it feels like if it's not if it's stationary, it feels like you've got to put a bit more force to at least get it to start moving. But then after that, it moves kind of okay. It feels a bit stuttery, I guess. So it doesn't. There's no smoothness to it, um, like with the uh, and the Anstoke one didn't feel particularly smooth. Um, but this feels a bit stop and start. So, for example, I'm moving my hand here. I've stopped to move it again. If I've got to kind of put a bit more force into it, then I'd really want to. Um, the letters feel just a little bit too small through the planchette. So it does feel a bit stop and start. It does feel a bit stiff to move. So I guess that. The board itself, the, the design of the board looks quite nice, but it does feel lessened by the fact that it's just a print on a board rather than print, run like printed on it, printed art on the board itself. It just feels, so that feels a bit cheap. The planchette does feel like it's a bit, the print has a kind of more photocopied feel to it rather than just a standard print. We'll have a quick, Look at this, by the way. So we are looking at about different here. So about five inches or thir or just short of thirteen centimeters, and four inches or ten centimeters. Or just widest. So, but the print, the, the skull print on there does look like it's more from printed from a photocopier rather than art again. And as I said, it, you can probably see it there where it's kind of where the print is just kind of. It's overlapping so that does feel I don't know it just feels a little bit disappointing but uh, anyway. yeah so uh, that's my thoughts on this um, would I recommend it this would be, I'd say this would be fine for Halloween once again it looks nice it would be fine for a Halloween party something you probably depending on how you feel about spending money on these items it would be fun for Halloween it it doesn't feel if it got damaged or stained, it probably won't, doesn't feel like as big a loss as, as the others, as they feel that the quality is a bit higher. So 
because it feels a little less, so because the quality doesn't feel as good, you can probably get away with having a party with it. If someone spills a drink over it, won't be the end of the world, sort of thing, because it doesn't necessarily feel as nice. So this does feel like a, a fun party version. But um, I don't regret owning it. I don't think it's a bad board. I just I think it's great. So yeah, so that's my thoughts on this. Um, I said thank you for watching this video and the other two. If you did enjoy these and you want me to kind of cover some more Ouija board spirit boards, do let me know down in the comments. I will still be continuing doing tarot, but this is more like a, a side thing. Just kind of another, just another interest. I don't want to just, you know, in the same way that uh, this channel also covers Oracle cards, I kind of want to cover other bits and bobs as well. But uh, let me know what you think down in the comments. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And I'll catch you all on the flip side.